Outlook brings to you excerpts from its latest issue titled Love Virtually. Ahead of Valentine's Day, Outlook's latest issue explores the many kinds of love, from online dating for the youth and dating for the elderly to the otherworldly and unrequited love. The issue also looks at how the concept of love has evolved at a time when the divide between communities of different faiths is widened by politics. Of Wills and Wishes by Ashutosh Salil. Salil is an IS officer. I wonder what will become of my beloved books and driftwood art after me. The thought of them being neglected or thrown away gives me jitters, more than the fear of death itself. I am a single man. I have no children. I have no nephews or nieces either. I don't own a house or any land yet. In the name of possession, I have lots of books though, and a few pieces of furniture and driftwood art. My books are all over my house. In all my books, I have dutifully written at the top corner of the first page my name, the date of purchase, and the city where I bought the book. This is my way of marking my possession over them. Telling friends, families and the world in general, please don't pick them up. They don't belong anywhere else. Those who visit my home love to look at my collection of books, but every time they do that, I get nervous and frigid. What if they wish to borrow a few? My experience with borrowing has not been great. Borrowed books have rarely come back home. I am possessive about all my books. I love each one of them equally. There is no hierarchy of good or bad books in my head. My books are probably the only thing I'm fiercely possessive about. I may not read all of them, but I want to keep them all. Whenever my close friends come home and wish to borrow, I try to persuade them to spend their own money on buying books. Not everyone is convinced. I guess some of them just want to annoy me by saying that they want to borrow my books. When nothing works, I offer to buy them the book they want. Parting with my math books is the last resort. It is painful. It is like taking away a part of me, my memories away from me, while I guard them closely. I wonder what will become of my beloved books after me. The thought of them being neglected or thrown away gives me jitters, more than the fear of death itself. I have a few good friends. Maybe I can will them away to their kids if they are nice to me. But not many kids these days read books, and there is no guarantee they will be nice to me. They will probably curse me for leaving just some old books for them and not some money. Maybe I should check with my school or the college. They may show some interest, if not the same amount of love I have for my books. For this and more, read the latest issue of Outlook.